Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Common Knowledge Podcast, where we practice facts over feelings. Thank you so much for your continued support of our channel, as we are going to jump right in on the topic. The WNBA is broke, but you already knew that. That's not news, right? There's nothing special about the WNBA being broke. We know it's broke. We know it has no money. We know it's a welfare league. We know all of this. But now it's coming out that the NBA owners are not happy about what's going on with the WNBA. So what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? You have a league that has lost tens of millions of dollars every single year. This year is facing a $40 million loss. It had been projected earlier there was a $50 million loss, but a $40 million <clears throat> loss. And NBA owners are not happy about this anymore. They're not going to keep throwing their money into a garbage disposal and having nothing come out by sh but shreds of nothing. Nothing's coming from this league. This league has been a welfare league from day one, and it continues to be a welfare league while, while they will sit here and tell you they've had their best ratings ever. They will sit here and tell you that their ratings are not because of Caitlin Clark. The unrivaled basketball league is begging Caitlin Clark to come play for it. Because TNT knows that without Caitlin Clark, no one's going to watch that garbage. But right now, it's come out in the New York Post that NBA owners are getting tired of it. <clears throat> the NBA owns 60% of the league. And when you can, and when it says when one combines the NBA owners' personal stakes in WNBA teams and the WNBA itself, the amount rises to 75%, a source with direct knowledge of the numbers said. Now think about that. <clears throat> you have a league that's literally owned by the NBA. The numbers of the WNBA are put into the numbers of the NBA, so you're able to hide how bad the losses are from your owners. Adam Silver is doing a great job of keeping this stuff away from the owners of the NBA. because. These guys are billionaires, and billionaires, there's one thing billionaires don't want to do, and that's lose money. The NBA team owners have invested hundreds of millions of dollars in the WNBA since 1996. The WNBA owes the NBA so much, we won't see any windfall for years, an NBA team executive told the Post. Now, think about that. That means that it doesn't matter that this year might have been a turning point potentially for the league. It means that you still won't see any profit or return on your investment for who knows how long. See, the, the WNBA plays it real funny, and there are people that say, oh, well, <clears throat> you know, the NBA, it took them decades to make money. You're right. It did. You want to know what they didn't have? In those decades, TV deals, games were on paper. I mean, they were on, I'm sorry, I said pay per view, tape delay. The money that the, the money didn't exist in television deals like they exist today. So it's comparing an apple to an orange, it's comparing a horse to an elephant. It, it's not a comparison. Not to mention, the NBA never got subsidized by another, another league. The WNBA has been subsidized for 28 years by the NBA. It's like it's like and I'm going to go here, it's like it's like Donald Trump. How he got a million dollars from his dad and his dad said go make it. And he did. Congrats. He made it. He ma he turned that million into a lot more. It's different when you say to a guy, you ain't got shit. You have nothing. Go make it. That is the comparison here. The NBA is the guy that didn't have shit. The WNBA is Donald Trump. The difference being Donald Trump made it. The WNBA has not. The WNBA continues to fail at epic levels. Can you imagine losing $40 million? $40 million? And you're going to sit here and people are going to say, oh, well, you know, 
with their new TV deal, that that would have them plus 60 million. Not so fast, my friend, because what they want is more money. If you have to dig into the money to pay these players more, and they want to they want to have shares of revenue for a league that makes no profit. Well, that 16 million number is going to creep down a whole lot. I don't know what it will creep down to. And you know what happens next? They also ask for five-star hotels. I would presume that the WNBA players do not stay at the Ritz-Carlton. I would presume they don't stay at the St. Regis. I would presume they don't stay at the W. I would presume they stay at your basic Marriott. Nothing wrong with a Marriott. I like Marriott. But there's levels to Marriott. There's Marriott, and there's this, and there's this, and there's this. And then even below that, then there's this, then there's this, then there's this. So Marriott's the standard, the baseline, and then there's people that are below the baseline and the people that are above the baseline. So as they as they grow and want more money and want better hotel accommodations and they got their private planes, all those things cost bread. And as you expand schedules, what happens there too? It costs more. So now we got another two teams coming in this league. Golden State comes in next year. What happens? They had a an initiate, or would they have their initiation fee or whatever they call it? And none of that money goes to the owners in the NBA. It says right here, <clears throat> right here in this New York Post article. We are not even getting any money from WNBA expansion fees. The NBA team executive said NBA owners do not do see money. NBA owners do see money from NBA expansion fees. That means when Golden State Warriors owner Joe Lacob last year agreed to pay $50 million, a $50 million expansion fee over 10 years to launch a WNBA team the, and Raptors minority owner Larry Tenenbaum this year paid $115 million for a Toronto team and a new practice center, none of the proceeds went to the NBA owners. That's some bullshit. But here's even more bullshit. Why did it cost one guy $50 million and a year later cost another one $115 million? Who came up with these numbers? I guess Joe Lake just wants to give his money away since he's made so much with the Golden State Warriors and he figures I need to have a welfare department. So I'm going to add a, a WNBA team to my, to my uh, books. I, I don't know. I, I mean, maybe he wanted a welfare department because that's what this is. This is a welfare league. It's still a welfare league. They want to grow the league without making any money on the league. They get money from the NBA on TV deal. What, what do they actually produce themselves? And yeah, you're going to tell me, oh, they did 1.3 million, 1.4 million in ratings in the finals. Yeah. Okay. Game five is tonight. It's in, it's in an hour. I'll have this video posted before then. But it's, it's what does that mean? Who cares? Caitlin Clark would have drawn 3.5 million, 4 million if she was playing still. And thank God that it was the Liberty and the Lynx because it had been Connecticut and the Aces. Nobody would have watched this shit. You actually got the two teams that people would actually care to watch. You got white privilege versus white privilege. Okay, yeah, that's why you don't have a whole you don't have a whole lot of uh, advocacy going on in this in this series. Even though Brianna Stewart tried, tried to make some headlines with the the email thread, <clears throat> the NBA owners want more transparency from the NBA commissioner Adam Silver. And there's been pushing to him. There's a bunch of ants of owners who see Dan uh, was it James Dolan as a as a hero for pressing Silver on these questions, but Silver is not giving us any answers. That's funny to me, being that they that that Adam Silver works for them. Uh, very very simple. You give me my what I'm asking you for, I will fire you. I, I don't understand. I don't understand what the problem is here. If the NBA owners are the are the boss and Silver works for them. I mean, it's a very simple, su simple solution to that problem. Um, WNBA financials, including detailed reports on re revenue and expenses, are shared with both the NBA's and WNBA's Board of Governors. NBA spokesman Mike Bass told the Post to kind of comment further. <clears throat> this is, that is some B somewhat BS, and they are consolidating it with NBA financials. The team executive said, by consolidating numbers, you don't have to break out any of them. Basically, you hide them. You hide the loss. It's interesting. It's very, very, it's very interesting because 
what what you have is you have a you have a league that is floundering. That even with Caitlin Clark here to save it, the league is still floundering financially, and there's no end in sight in terms of the continued losses, let alone the continued uh, or the ability to actually make it turn a profit. Turn a pro- I mean, you're talking about how long are these guys going to wait? Forty years to turn a profit? Forty years? This is just welfare. This is a handout gift. And that's what the NBA has been to the WNBA. So when they compare the WNBA to the NBA and say, well, the NBA didn't make money until a certain point, you're right. NBA owners took losses. They took L's, which is why the the, the whole idea of owning professional sports teams when I was a kid, people didn't look at it as a money-making venture. It was like you have a toy. Owning a professional professional sports franchise when I was a kid was viewed at by the wealthy, wealth, the wealthiest of the wealthy as I have a toy. And this just shows you how wealthy I am that I can afford to lose money hand over fist to have this toy. And then came the TV deals. And then came, of course, you know, Larry Bird, Magic, and Jordan, who turned the entire future of the NBA around because they showed up. And then things all of a sudden changed for the NBA. And that's great for the NBA. But again, they didn't have a sub- uh, someone subsidizing them. The people that subsidized the league were the people that were losing money off of the league. Whereas the WNBA is being subsidized by the NBA. Most of these owners probably don't want to have a WNBA team, but they felt pressed and, and pressed into doing so. And that's really what we live in as society right now. That's why this league should have folded 20 years ago. We all know that. Sorry for the lightning glare. I'm trying to get out of the glare. I don't know what's going on. But we all know this league has been subsidized. This league should have folded 20 years ago. You imagine having the, the the team that won the first four championships folded inside of a decade, in a decade? That's crazy, right? But yeah, you have a you have a league right now. I wonder how much longer the NBA will will maintain this subsidy. And at what point the NBA will say, enough is enough. We're not doing this shit anymore. Um, have a good day. Figure it out yourself. I, I don't know. I'm wondering when that will be. I would like to, I would love to see the NBA owners. Remove themselves. I'd like to see the NBA owners sell these teams to non-NBA owners and see if those non-NBA owners who want to own a women's basketball team are willing to put their money where their mouth is and risk losing it and take this onus off of the NBA and let it belong to the WNBA as a whole. Well, who the hell pays Kathy Engelbert's salary? Who, Who pays it? Probably the NBA owners. I would presume they pay Adam Silvers. They must be paying hers. It is it is largely ridiculous and stupid that we are listening to this shit so long, for so long about how this league is so great. Yeah, it, it's a it's a it's a money loser. It's a money pit. It is the worst. It, it is, for lack of better words, it's it's just a disaster. And. They're at some point, if the NBA owners are starting to call, it's like they're calling, um, what is it? Um, they're calling their marker, for lack of better words. I think it's like when in gambling terms, like the people get a line of credit or whatever, and uh, they give them credit at the casino, and then they have to call the marker, and it's like, oh, I don't have the money. Oh, you, you, well, you're you're fucked then. <laughs> there might be a a hole in the in in the desert for you. I don't know. But they should they should call their marker on this. But who are they calling it to? Adam Silver? They're calling it on themselves? What are they calling it on? It is a bad situation. So while Caitlin Clark is here to save the day, the debt is so large that it will take decades for them to actually finally get down to zero in a breaking point. They're nowhere near a breaking point. They're, they're nowhere near breaking even, even this new TV deal. Nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. Let me know your thoughts about the NBA and being upset with what's going on with the WNBA and seemingly wanting some actual answers from Adam Silver. What do you think about that? Do you think that's a bad that's a bad news for that's a bad omen for the WNBA? Uh, what are your thoughts? I'd love to know what you think because I know what I think. I think the WNBA, if if you had some if the owners of the NBA who were involved in this really wanted to do something about it the league could cease to exist tomorrow. Realistically, it's their money funding it. 75% ownership of the league. 
Who's the other 25%? <clears throat> Someone that likes losing money, that's for dang sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, go over to Ruby's Rant, subscribe there. Of course, remember, always subscribe to Come On Now, the podcast. Love you all. Facts over feelings. Come on now. <laughs>